What's up, guys? It's Burn back here, and we're back in some Slay the Spire modded. So, last time we went all for one with the Ironclad, and today we're going to uh, go in here with the Silent, see what the mods have to offer us. Uh, additional Star Relic really uh, fudged us up last time. We could just go transform two cards and see what randomness it gives us. I like it. We'll do one of each. <laughs> okay. Uh, atomic Bomb, 60 damage, 4 poison to all fighters, which I assume includes us. Expertise is draw. Well, we can't play all for one yet, so, I mean, the Atomic Bomb, not all for one. Um, don't want to start with any of these shops. I guess we'll start up and try to take out that Elite. Worst case scenario, if we're not feeling good, we could duck out here, I guess, and go up that way. Hit the Elite just a hair later. But, dang. This would have been a really good one if we could play... The atomic bomb, but we can't. I can play expertise and get some more cards. Because it's either draw up to six or draw so many if you don't have six. I don't remember the exact wording on the card. Okay. This is going to be an interesting one. If we can make an atomic bomb work, I mean, it'll be probably a lot of fun. Just depends if we can, you know, if we can't use it the whole first floor, it's just kind of weighing us down. Alright, 18 gold and concentrate right there. Gives us the energy we kind of need. Do we take the regret again? Ah. I have to. Instant Runner. Intangibility. Every six turns. Game one intangible. It's kind of what we were looking for. And then we can concentrate that crap way. So we kind of also need, if we're going to be using concentrate like this, we need uh, some draw engine. Because we're discarding most of our hand. Yeah. So I guess we would do this. Hope for concentrate. We didn't get it. Do I, yeah, I'll kill you. Saves me a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. At this point, it's kind of the luck of the draw to line it up correctly. Uh, I don't know. Take the weakness. on the sucker punch. And get the sucker punch. All right, proceed. I'm not feeling too bad. We'll try this one. Sizzling blood. Leap and beam cell. Survivor neutralize. No, I think I'd rather transform. What did we lose? Well, we lost the atomic bomb for toxin wave. That's just kind of crappy, but... Uh, for necrotic poison to all enemies. Well. Randomize your starter relic. Let's go. Oh. Got the missing piece again. Which... I don't think it works. That stinks. We're just kind of bouncing back and forth. Everything cool we had is now gone. I guess Ring of the Snake's not that cool, but... Okay, so Toxin Wave, Neutralize. We'll hit him. We'll see how long we actually are for this world. Okay. Drop the Regret. Expertise. Thinking maybe we can concentrate, drop the regret again. We're just giving them strength. Oh boy. He's up to 10 strength. So we need to kill him this turn, pretty much. Huh, huh. Neutralize. So close. Um, well, we'll definitely block. For eight. Now, we definitely want to kill him now. Yes. Shall it. Three decks and metal besides the start of your turn, and we'll lose one each over the next three turns. Okay. Yes, skip. Yep, can't do nothing with it. Doesn't work. Well, I hope it works actually with the character itself. Kind of be a little bit of a leg down. Now, can we get. We can't. I was hoping we could get Concentrate. I'm hoping we can maybe upgrade it and make it a little better, because. Right now, Concentrate's not really doing much for us. It was supposed to be an engine for the atomic bomb, but I think it's kind of holding us back. The only, but we do have the expertise. Like, we can draw engine, expertise, concentrate, drop this, this and this, two strikes, do something like that. But still, it's like, why? <laughs> uh, we'll go Toxin Wave. I mean, it looks like we're setting up for some poison, so. Gotta do something with it, I suppose. All right, uh, I don't really want to take the one. All right, 
regret. I guess I wouldn't take it, but to like lessen the effects of regret. Um, okay, you're gonna hit us. Do I really want to take the set? I guess I'll take the seven. We'll take five with the metallicize. Toxin wave, kill him. Yes. All right, you don't get our gold at least, so we're we're kind of fast paced a little bit at least. Endless agony, I guess maybe. I think we need a little bit more damage. Pinnib. So every tenth attack we play deals double damage. I'm also thinking that endless agony might we could fill like fill our deck with it a little bit. Could be interesting. I don't know yet. I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants. That regret's gonna hurt. Nine health, which I can't 100% blame us. We have been getting kind of shed upon, just like with our luck in general. Okay, so if we can survive here, hopefully we come up to a rest pretty soon. I hadn't l looked very much, taking a look, I guess. Class nine, another toxin wave. Okay, we're really heavy on the toxin waves, so we have to find elite. I think I'd rather go this and then the elite. Um, nope. Cannot lose any bit, like more HP before going to an elite. We have to rest. Almost no choice. Lagavulin. Okay. It's a lot of like that's eight damage, I guess, for one. Uh, I think I'm gonna hit him. And, like just kind of go with it I don't really have much of another plan besides stacking this like necrotic poison I'm also going to expertise to see if we can draw something to drop this card oh, we did get the endless agonies though um, I am going to he's already weakened F I could use the ghost uh, okay we'll take it I'm trying to like pick my moments we can no take no damage. Guess I could have, like of like went to take one instead maybe. Strike expertise. Yes, toxin wave. Concentrate. Drop drop drop. Strike him again. I there's like a, a four percent chance we get out of here alive. I'm thinking. And I think this is the time to do this. Okay. Neutralize. Oh, wait. We did get it. I'm very surprised. Regret. Shouldn't have expertise, but we got him. Whoo! Two void shards. Second skull. Whenever I play a poison, play an additional poison. And then all these are parts. Uh, no. Leave. I, I don't want to fight the monster. Who Who was this on the map? We could try to go in the Hexagus, but gosh, it's going to be hard. <sighs> Our defensive... We have weakness, though. So I think we'll go in it without resting and just kind of hope. Because we need more damage. Like, our damage engine right now is pretty poor. Get some more damage on the Toxin Waves. Because if we do this right, we hopefully... Don't actually have to uh, take that first hit. We can like weaken it. Or maybe it's only like six damage. Yeah. So we can do this, which will be great. Um, do you want to filter this there? No, I just want to kind of get the quick damage. Okay. Good, good, good. This. Keep him weak. We'll defend and we'll strike. Gotta kind of play this a little slower than I would like to. Alright, burn. Alright, sucker punch. Yeah, stuff like this is what's going to help us. And then defend. We're going to be taking taking one. Which is fine. But we'll take a burn. No, we don't take a burn that one. Concentrate. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Get him out of here. I have nothing to play with. If we had some more draw. Should have kept our defend, I guess. But I th that was it anyway. I guess I could have weakened them and survive one more turn, but I wasn't thinking six health. We got kind of uh, screwed on that one a little way, though. 
just like the way it went with our relic gone and we lost our like our plan with the atomic bomb immediately that's how it goes sometimes though okay Kirsten choose a random card to obtain I think we'll try that blindness was the curse adrenaline's good though so at the end of your turn unable to see any intent for this combat Ooh, that's rough. I think I want to go and remove that. I don't know enemy intents well enough where I feel like I could play with that. Well, <laughs> guess we'll get no defense next time. Yeah, because it'd be after the end of this turn. It would be blindness will set in. Yep, we are blind now. But he just keeps attacking, so I'm not like too worried about his intent. But especially with all these modded things in here, there's no way. Boom. Okay, Cloak and Dagger is pretty good. Yeah. Void Shard. Uh, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -bum -ba. Upgrade card. Adrenaline? Yeah. Adrenaline is just a good card. Like, it has very little negatives. Cards into silent cards of the same type. Yeah. Cool. And we got Endless Agony, which is good. Heal Hook, pretty good. Expertise, I'm not a big fan of Expertise, but I'll take it. All right, Blindness, get out of here. Not looking at anything else, don't need nothing to distract me. Cloak and Dagger would've been nice, but I don't wanna deal with Blindness. I will not be a blind man. All right. Shiv, um, uh, might as well use Adrenaline. Oh, yeah, Neutralize. How much do I need? One more of that. Okay. Damage dealt to him. Heal Hug. Dealing seven, so yeah, Wheel's Block. Not bad. The Silent Night feels pretty hard to get going, like... Starting out, once you kind of get rolling, I feel like you can make some fun stuff. But in the beginning, it is pretty rough with the silent. You can smith now. Uh, no. Cloak and dagger. Well, actually, no. Neutralize. That extra week just really, in my opinion, goes a very long way. Oh, gremlin knob. My favorite to fight as the silent. There's... 0% sarcasm in my tone. I feel like I see the gremlin knob more and more as I play the silent. Okay. Straight up damage. That I could. Adrenaline. Draw two cards. Play survivor. He's going to gain four strength. Do I think I think I'll just hold this card. And well, I got so much left. In terms of like energy, that'll put me up to five, and I can have four cards. I think I'll wait. I think I'll retain it for now. Yeah, retain. Confirm. Kind of sucks, but I think there's better turns to play it on. Like this. Okay. Get some strike. This, because I know I'm gonna play cloak and dagger, and then we'll really get blocked up. Uh, confirm. I don't need to keep the defend. Take nothing and try to kill him this turn, which not really working out in my favor per se. Um, do you you don't expertise here? As much as I think you could, I think the only thing that might have been good would been play survivor. Yeah, and then kill him this turn. Ooh. Well, hello, damage, my old friend. If I only had two more damage, I could have dealt to you. Save me 15. Dang. Magic Flash. Option. May Tao take one free. This is some one use. Start with three kiloboss to gain two more. Interesting. I think that just gives you like a little bit of energy. Like every uh, campfire. Um, I think we'll go burst. Because you can burst cloak and daggers pretty good. Yeah, you can just get this for free. And then I can still smith. 
and I've used one charge of that. I think we'll upgrade Cloak and Dagger. It needs to be doing more damage. We need some more damage output. As good as Burst is, it still gets the same thing done that we were intending it. And we'll drink again, because we can. And then we will Smith Endless Agony. These Smiths really help the Silent early. I think we'll go question marks up this way. Maybe hit that bonfire. It could be cool. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Because it burst. Adrenaline. Tons of energy. Boop. Not really good, like, per se, for what we're doing with it. But we'll discard this. Expertise up. There we go. Kind of more what I was thinking. Don't know if we'll get the kill. Oh, we will. That was a pretty good hand for, you know, everything we did, it still wasn't that great. This raid, I don't think we have a discard. I think leg sweep is just a all around great thing. I think we'll try for the loot specimen. We will leave now though. Uh, so whenever an enemy dies, if they have poison, you can transfer that. Randomize a relic. <sighs> this is the Mr. Mime one. It does, it's not gonna work for this. Like, if we could get, like, cards to relate to it, maybe. I think we did something weird with it at one point. But I don't think we can. I just don't think it's, like, possible. Adrenaline. We'd have to, like, somehow mix up the sets and... It's not gonna work. <sighs> and that's twice. Makes me less, like, less and less likely to try using crap like that. Because I love the idea of switching out your relic. Uh, let's try expertise to see if we get yeah. Endless agonies and neutralize. We get them both. Cause I love the idea of switching your starter because like the silence is good getting those extra that extra draw. But there's so many other cool ones that I haven't seen, but not when this is the effect half the time. Got a blade dance. Awesome. Another void shard. Okay, we have full health, so we might as well do this. I think we will dig. Paper Crane. With weak, uh, deal 40% less instead of 25. Really good because we have a lot of weak. So this is the False Knight. Okay. No weakness on the first turn, which kind of... Kind of sucks, but... We won't cry too much about it. Anything good starting with... Another Cloak and Dagger could be good. The works. Blah, 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 blah. No. Yeah, we'll try this. Just do this. Just so we don't have to take damage and just have it in our deck. Okay. Get our weakness going in there. Burst, cloak, and dagger. So I'm not sure what this dude's deal is yet. Does he just keep, like, doing two hits and then progressively get stronger? Seems like a thing that it could be. Well, I'd like to perpetuate this weakness forever if possible. Um, I think we'll strike and then expertise. Only leaves us with one left, but we have eight. So either way, this is two shivs. I'm gonna do this. Doesn't matter, but we'll keep the blade dance. Actually, I should have done it the other way, thinking about it. Because that would have given me some defense here. Doesn't matter. We picked up another cloak and dagger. So this is like more and more becoming like a shiv deck. Which, as much as I love shivs, they just don't get as much support as I would like. Alright, perpetuate the weakness indefinitely, of course. Oh, we had to play one for burst and then one for, uh, I mean two for the leg sweep. Okay, he's starting to uh, really get up here on these double hits. Uh, get this, draw a card. 12, he's doing 18, we'll block. I know it's a weird move for me. We'll keep it a fin for next turn. So did he go up again? Oh, he's resting now. Odd. Now I gotta keep laying the damage in. Uh, expertise. Oh, that's a bad one. Keep the burst. No, keep the cloak and dagger. Just in case he tries to like really pummel us this turn. Oh, he lost all his strength. Odd. I don't get it. I'm gonna keep wailing on him. Uh, actually, I don't think I need it. So six. 
first. Like sweep. Might as well keep it because as long as the weakness is on there, I think I'm good. Yep, he doubled. Now he's going to do 18. So yeah, he's like got a interesting little pattern here. Drop that. This. Yeah, cloak and dagger is definitely the way to go. I need some more of them. Uh, we'll keep the strike. He only got 58. He will hit us this turn. We had done so well not to get bullied too much, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and finish up some more damage. Hopefully we'll get him next turn. At the rate we're going. So he'll lose the 10. Yep, gain vulnerability. Rest. And then he'll get back up. Okay, so he's like a, a cycling enemy. He's got like a pattern. He performs every time. Ooh, we are going to take... Oh, no, we're not going to take anything. I say we're going to take 9 for... Not blocking, but I forget we're playing Cloak and Dagger almost every turn. <laughs> okay, he's cool. He didn't seem that strong, but he was cool. Poison darts. Uh, no, fam. I'm not like... I guess bullet time is the best one there. I didn't really like any of them. All right, these are all new. Uh, to me, at least. I have special slots to remind me. Pick up at the start of combat. Uh, choose to start each combat with two strength. Two decks or two focus. Simple, just like simple upgrade. Pretty good. Every other turn assist with helpful effects. Interesting. Draw three additional cards each turn. When you play a card that costs more than zero energy, discard a card. There's a lot of applications for this for a discard deck. I just want to know what the helpful effects are. So I'm going to take the Stone Buddy. Even though I will say, I think I would like. Went with the straight upgrade for straight damage with the hot dog. This one's way more interesting. Okay. And we are going to go to the city again. I'm not... The jungle's hard. And I don't feel very strong. I wish I would have went with Ironclad last time. Because we were doing so good. But I don't feel nearly as strong as our all for one deck. Hit him, hit him. And we... Oh, crap. Well, I should have played that. Because that's... Five damage we're taking. I thought I was out of energy. Take that. So he was blocked. So he did 12 damage. Interesting. Because he would have had 12 block. We're not going to draw anything this turn. So bullet time. And zoom. I forget bullet time is just like a nice, like, nice thing. I don't have enough draw. I think the only draw we have is expertise. Go ahead and neutralize. Play survive. So we're gonna play one more card besides this. So oh, we did that wrong. Well, doesn't matter. Made it up for it. It's fine. Leg sweep it out. We're good. Better outcome that way anyway. But you can't double expertise like that. But if we would have played the survivor, we had to discard two, so. Uh, okay, we should have played Heal Hurt first because we can't draw, but simple ordering like that could make a huge difference sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. Here, not really. I don't think we're going to die in this fight. Uh, do I really need to play the burst? No. Hold it for next turn, though. If we get Cloak and Dagger, be spicy. Oh, he just healed me for no reason. All right, anything draw? Yes, heal hook will draw. But then I can't play bullet time. Bullet time's better. Play bullet time. Burst. Clip and dagger. Got to run my options before I do it. I need a... Because I have leg sweep. I need... What's the other one? There's one that does damage that's similar to leg sweep. Heal hook? No. Eh. That might be what it is, but I can't. 100% remember. This dude, I forget, is tanky as all get out. If I feel like it's going on forever. But he just like he just keeps healing me too. Like we're leaving this with one less HP. And I know we took more than that. The blade dance. I like the gnome. He's just like very kind. You will not encounter awakened one in the next eye. Lucy. I really want to do this because I've never seen it. I don't want to fight time either, though. But we need to keep that in mind. I don't think we're strong enough to fight something crazy like that anyway. 
But it was a good thought. Bullet time. You're weak. And you're in pain. Get one of these down. And hopefully, yeah, take no damage. Draw some more cards. You're just so nice, dude. Uh, you're now weak. Well laid plans. Cloak and dagger. I'm just gonna keep punching you. Okay. So you're almost dead. I could kill you and take no damage. I think I will. Shouldn't have weakened him, but... Well, I guess I would have had to uh, weaken him with the neutralize to get the extra damage to kill him. So, in the end, it doesn't even matter. Adrenaline. Let's get double that. I don't know if our hand... Oh, our hand is big enough. But somehow, <clears throat> we got all, all, all defensive cards. Which does not help our case at all. Keep the burst. Hopefully we'll kill him next turn. We've got to do 40 damage, which is kind of hard for us. 50 damage. 51. Okay. I think we might, need, we might need the expertise to get the damage done. Play dance. Okay. What would get us there? Nothing. Nothing we can do get, will get us there. Best we can do, they're going to take some of our gold. You suck. Gnome, you didn't kill him. Where's that 40 damage punch? Okay. Uh, Languish Potion. Eh, I like ours. Shiv Toss. Uh, for each one. We've tried this. I can't. I've tried using Shiv Toss. I don't like it. It's just not good. What in the world? Okay. I will unlock the next station. Unlock the next one. Crap. Okay, so we need more money. Oh, get a unique relic. We got Stag's Pass. Oh, well, are automatically upgraded. Okay, we have no money now, so we can't buy cards from the shop, but they're so interesting. I wonder what, it, what would happen if we would have got all the way through, though. Okay, do this. Ooh. Hoping to get out our, um, whatchamacallit. I think I will. What can I get? I could get adrenaline, which would be nice. Get rid of all those. That's good, too. These are, would have also been good to have, but I think I'll keep this. Like, next turn, but it's fine. We'll burst adrenaline, I think. We should be. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Burst adrenaline. And then we play bullet time. Any other draw we could? He's already weak, so we'll do this. And then we'll bullet time. And we'll burst. Blade dance. Neutralize. So these are like the turns you can combo off a little bit on. And do a great amount of damage. So she's going to heal him though, but he's close to dead. Oh, dang. I don't know she healed that much. No bueno. Stop. I want this young man dead. Neutralize. And then we'll hold the cloak and dagger. Keep laying the damage into him. Because, yeah, she's healing 16, looks like, every turn. Ooh, he, he uh, laid it to ya. Okay, so burst. Cloak and dagger again. Die. Evil. Evil man. He is one short, and she's going to heal him again, and it's going to be not nice. We're in a perpetual, like, motion of them healing and me dealing a little bit of damage. I think I'll get him this time, though. All right, lady, you're next. Now, I guess, technically, if I would have, I could do it. Let the stone guy heal me slowly over the course of forever. Oh, he, he gave me three extra energy. Dude, you're great. Yeah, Gnome was the best choice. Gnome is new best boy. Because, like, he's helping me persist a little bit. Even though they're, like, little helps. It's still a lot. Don't need these defense. I don't see her attacking. She's in, the like, that heal cycle she goes through. So I just want to keep pummeling her, really. 
I think that's it. Okay, another blade dance upgraded too, which is kind of nice. Drink this because we can, and then we will smith. I think the bullet bullet time. Well, I think the only advantage to doing this would be I could also play like heel hook before, but I think actually burst because I could get I think a little bit more bang for my buck that way. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. How do I do this correctly? I actually think I don't want to burst the adrenaline. I think I'll adrenaline. I think I'll bullet time them. Then I burst. Then I will lay plans. Blade dance. Let's get the shivs out of control. I th actually, I meant cloak and dagger, not blade dance for the first one. My B, get him weakened forever. That guy's almost dead. Oh, I should have played that a little bit in the other order. However, we didn't need the defense. So it's okay. Blade dance, you're done. Okay, now we can start laying into this gremlin leader. Hopefully he won't attack. Yeah, he'll rally. He's got the cook minion, which is one of the more annoying ones. So I will... Get him killed first because he heals people, which I don't like. Then you, if I can, which I can't, unfortunately. Can I drink this? Oh, you lucky son of a gun. You're going to deal me nine freaking damage. Don't like that. I was hoping to get neutralized was my kind of my goal. Ooh, still a good hand right here. Burst. Let's get you hit. Yeah. You're done. Still works out pretty dang well. The sound of the cards disintegrating is a very disconcerting sound to me. I don't like it very much. Oh, thanks for the heal, man. Bullet time. Leg sweep. Cloak and dagger. Um, defend, defend, survivor. Didn't do that much damage that round, which is kind of sucky. Because that means he's going to attack. Yep. I was kind of afraid of. All right, he is still forever weakened. I could maybe kill one of these dudes if I do this right, though. Yeah, if I do, like, maybe this. No, that. Then this. Can I kill him if I really try it? Eight. 14, no, he has 22. So, two shivs and a defend. Best way to go about it. Could have saved eight more there if I could have got him killed, but the cards were just not necessarily in my favor. So, I could burst, blade dance. Actually, I think I should expertise first. Yeah. Better way to do it. Burst and then this blade dance. Because he will die for sure. And I'll still get a little bit of extra damage on him. And then I can hold the blade dance for next turn. This is a slow one. Because he's rallying again. Good lord. Because I can keep him perpetually weakened forever. But I'm having to like. Divert my damage so freaking much. That it's. Becoming un like. Un uh. Sustainable. Okay, so he's weak this turn, so I will hit him there. We will burst the cloak and dagger. Kill this one. Kill this one here. After we do this, oh, one of those got discarded by accident. A little bit more damage there, and then we'll end the turn and hold the leg sweep. So he's going to get stronger. Oh, he's attacking this turn. That's surprising, actually. But I'm kind of okay with it, because I think I will be defended most of the way. Eh, not most of the way, but I got to do some damage to him and not his freaking minions. Have some more energy, okay. I don't know if I have planned for said energy. Let's go ahead and do this first. Okay, I do have plans. I lied. Die. This is the one thing about the shivs, is it's the fights can be very long. 
but he's down to 23. Okay, I'm, I think I'm gonna focus on him. No, I'm not. Not a hand you can do that with. I mean, I am gonna hit him over hitting the, the little boys, but it's not one that will really uh, lead to anything very beautiful. Okay. Whew. Two void shards. Not a good fight. We really uh, took a beating there. Every time you play three powers, gain shielding equal to three times its energy cost. Oh, anytime you play a power, not three powers. That's okay. I don't think we have any power. No, I think our, the power we have costs zero. So. Alright, we'll drink there. I wish I could also rest. Like, as my uh, choice for the, uh, for the campfire. Okay, we got another campfire up here, so we're good. I'll take this to see if we get anything interesting. A shop. So cards we have are upgraded. We need to remember that. Banana. Ooh, and it'll be upgraded banana. I'll take it. So Banana is just a good card. So it should technically be upgraded. My flask is empty, but I'm back to a decent HP. It didn't upgrade it. It does not work. From shops are automatically upgraded. So that does not work. Well, we will still upgrade the banana for max HP. We have no money. But I think I'd rather go to this path anyway to get the two question marks. So you will look. Probably not take anything. Double alchemize is kind of cool. Could try to fight the shopkeeper. This always goes bad for us, though. But the waffle would be really good. Uh, it would heal any damage we take. And the wasp nest is also great. I also want... During your turn, like the alchemizers are good. I'm gonna do it again. All right, shopkeeper, die. Okay. So he doesn't have much health. We just need to remember that he does a shitload of damage, and he has artifacting, which is fine. Not a good start, really. Okay. And if this is how we die, I'm okay with it. Like. The run's not like super impressive, but we're, we're getting a decent amount of health. Um, our deck's not terrible. It, it, it's actually defensively capable is what I think will help us. And being able to weaken the dude will give us a better fighting chance. I think most of the problems when we come and do this, we have no defense at all. All right, we really need to start wearing him down. <clears throat> Adrenaline. Banana. Just a great card in general. The, also the thing that is going to be hard to get past is that freaking 35 block he gets every turn. Which I didn't think about when we came in here. Because if he can't hit us and we can't hit him, you know, what's the point of this? Like, look at that. Okay. Get that in there. Because I need to get... The weakness applied sooner than later. Hold heel hook. Alright, gnome. I don't want no money. Sunny. Oh. He gained four strength that turn. Okay. I think this one's gonna hurt. See what this does first? I wanna hold actually burst. Shopkeeper, man. He's a doozy. Oh, well. Wasn't it like a super interesting ride. I'm not too bummed about it. I really wanted... I love the wasp nest. It's one of my favorite things. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit the like button. Or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.